This is not a video about how to properly tram your compound. This is a question about tramming. And I've actually got mine to within about a half a thousandth over the face of the compound, which I feel is uh, pretty dang good using this cheap uh, Shars dial indicator. And I don't have a dial test indicator, so it's not really going to get any better, any better than this. And I'm not really sure if it's necessary to get any better. I'd love to hear your comments. Post below. It also looks like my magnetic base dial indicator holder is wobbling in the video, but that's actually my camera tripod. So just disregard that uh, uncomfortable feeling that's going on in the pit of your stomach. The question becomes, if the uh, compound is adequately trammed, is the tool post also adequately trammed? And the answer is, it is not. And from the first time I started using my lathe up until today, I've always just applied pressure in the clockwise position before locking down the tool post and you can clearly see that the tool post uh, face is not parallel with the compound face. I'd never tested it in the past but I always just assumed that was okay for some reason. But uh, what you're going to see here is that mine is out about 30 thousandth over the face of the tool post. Now that seems totally unacceptable to me. If you're doing any you know precision facing or uh, maybe taper, cutting at a taper, or threading. I imagine that the uh, tool being properly indicated is very important so you don't cut an extra, you know, weird angle or a weird undercut thread due to a poorly aligned tool. So after realizing that my tool post was out by uh, as much as 30 thousandth, I thought, well, maybe the tool is also out, which it is, but only by 12 thousandth. Now, I very carefully cleaned behind the tool uh, before shooting this video made sure to get all the little uh, grime and chips out of the crevices back behind there. And I'm very confident that that is not going to be part of this issue. But 12 thousandth also feels like uh, a failure. So I'd love to hear your comments as to whether or not this is considered to be accurate. I think it's not. And I think the answer is going to be uh, to get a, an Alora style quick change tool post and ditch the uh, four-way tool post. That's an upgrade I plan on doing in the future. But uh, I might bump that up now just because I'm, I'm a little bit disgusted with what I'm getting. Post your comments below, questions if you have them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I've got more lathe videos on the way, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.